and gentlemen, for the first time in two years of Dragon Ball Legends, we have our very first meta shattering unit. Huh? I know what you're thinking. Ryan, we have meta breaking units all the time. What do you talk about? Every unit that comes out is the best unit. No, that's incorrect. Well, it, yeah, they usually are good. But when I say meta shattering, that's a step above meta breaking. This Vegito is too good. And it has me really questioning how the state of PvP is going to be over the course of the next potentially year with this card this card is so good there's just people in the community who are debating that the game is going to end and they just decide to go all out but release something like this which i hope is not the case because i like this game this guy is good for so many reasons look at all the buffs he gets just for uh coming across various types of plays against me melee types range types support he literally gets a a draw card speed increase when a support unit pops up against him but the thing that makes him so good is this right here Draw a strike card next time when you do a strike or draw a strike arts card every time you do a strike card It does two times and then when you switch out and then it basically lets you do it again That is really really dangerous and the reason why is for two reasons number one the amount of damage that this guy does and two The potential bait for a rising rush if you start a combo with Vegito by the time you even finish it You're gonna have a rising rush so what happens either you let Vegito kill the uh, character that he's fighting against or you tag out just to get rising rushed it's it's crazy like i feel like this card is too good for what dragon ball legends is right now so we need some hard counters i mean technically the super saiyan 4 goku that came out uh, we can actually heavily counter this card and you know technically even merge zamasu is built to counter this card he also has a cover he does everything for no reason at all it makes no sense so yeah uh, I'm curious to see how the state of the game is going to be over the course of the, of the near future first and then over the course of the next year But I mean I get it legendary finish units have to be good and emergency units have to be even better I mean we still use the ones from last year, but I think this guy's too good before I start I built three teams around him I got future team which uses all uh, the new units from the super uh, from the super banner Then I got a god key setup, which I think is not as good as it sounds and finally I got uh, Fusion of course, which I think is one of the best ones just because you have a key um, counter cover change attack with uh, Vegito Blue. The Vegito from last year stops strike cards, and anything that basically can stop a combo is going to be a good counter against this card. All right, for the first match, we got Team Saints, and the thing is, now I realize why Kefla is green. <laughs> now I realize why Kefla is green. They, they had her set up for the release of Vegito Blue at some point. They knew this is like the perfect counter whenever Vegito Blue is get released. All right, let's see how we do in this first match. Let's see what happens. Watch me get watched as always. Let's go for attack. Let's keep it as simple. Oh. Oh, uh, we got a little bit of lag, but I think that's gonna work out in my favor now because I was able to see that he's gonna do a green card from start. Like, look at me. Like, I'm literally farming up a rising rush as we speak. That's crazy. That is just craziness. Go to the side. Oh, there's a lot more lag actually. Look, this Goku's dead. Like, if that was me, I'd already be afraid. To Wait, watch this, watch this, watch this. I'd already be afraid to like switch out because oh, drop that. I forgot that she. I didn't forget, but I I feel like you can't really combo. Can you combo with Kefla that well? Go and go for up. Oh, do this. Side step for me. Side step for me. Oh, we're not gonna do that. Uh, we're gonna go for that actually instead. Uh, something just popped on my computer. Hopefully it didn't mess up my uh, my recording, but it's looking fine for now. And that actually hell distracted me. I'm so glad he did a, a blue card. Let's go and do this and go for a bait. Bait. So side we go. All right, Vegito. Time to do shenanigans once again. Oh, nice, nice, nice. Ooh. And then we're gonna go ahead and punch him in the face. You know what I'm gonna actually do here? I'm gonna take out that uh, that uh, Super Saiyan 4 Goku immediately. But I'm gonna first use up all my. No, I'm not. I'm gonna go in immediately because I feel like I don't want the Goku to cool down. Okay, I thought he was gonna do that. I didn't want the Goku to cool down because they, they get to the revive from zero. But I can also nullify that technically if I use um, if I use the ultimate, which I'm saving for actually the legendary finish. Did we get that? We got that. Nice. So he's down to two characters now. And we're still pretty much in the clear. This guy is just, ugh. I've been on the, on the opposite. 5.7 million damage. I'd definitely be on the opposite end with this character. Oh, go to the side. Whoop. Switching to Kefla. Size, size up for me. Ooh, that could have been bad. Vanish. Oh, Vanish for me. Side step. Eh, that's what I want to see. And now he's, oh my gosh, the damage is about to be wild here. Here's what we're going to do. Uh, I'm going to switch into Vegito. Super Vegito, so I can do this. And then actually nullify the uh, revive from zero. I'm gonna go ahead and kill that endurance real fast so he doesn't come back. And I just realized between both of these cards, I have that. I have uh, nullify from zero uh, canceling with this guy and with the uh, Vegeta. It's crazy. Let's go go for tackle. Okay. Oh, I got the perfect vanish there. Uh, do we got it? We got it. We do got it. We're gonna go ahead and activate this, and then that should that should kill. 
That should 100% kill. You know what's weird about this uh, this legendary finish is the fact that you blast them and then they pop out of it, which is kind of weird. This man literally drops a Kamehameha just to get punched in the face. <laughs> it looks beautiful though, I gotta say. It's not my favorite legendary finish compared to the other ones just because I feel like it's awkward he pops out of it, but it's still pretty dope to see. It's a pretty dope to see. On top of that, the damage from this attack alone is ridiculous. I think this is the first uh, ultimate in the game that has a supreme multiplier, if I remember correctly, or something that's higher than uh, massive. I think massive is what they normally have. So pretty much whenever that activates, your character's gonna die. <laughs> Most of the time, at least. All right, the next setup is going to be again. Oh, he decided to leave. Okay, well, never mind. All right, our next fight is going to be against uh, GT from Luxo, which is actually a good setup, because now we can test Goku versus the Vegito Blue. And I'm glad the last person left, because I actually forgot to switch our teams to future. So now we got, again, this guy uh, cancels strike cards, this one cancels key cards, and then v Trunks is there just to like beat your ass. So let's see how this works out. All right, let's see if we can do some stuff with Trunks too. I like that Trunks a lot. That Trunks, like I said, is going to be fantastic. Let's go for tackle. Oh, nice, okay. So that's how we go. Oh, that's a perfect vanish. And right now we start the shenanigans. Start the shenanigans right away. Oh, the horrible part is he's gonna switch into the Goku, which is gonna be great for me, because I can just do this. What's up? Do some dump damage there too. I think actually that Goku does some damage reduction as well, so that's gonna actually help him out. So that was actually my fault in uh, not remembering that. But hey, new units, right? So it's fine. Let's charge up my key real fast. Uh, side step for me? Hey, that's what I want to see. Switch into Torunksu. Trunks, I need you to get your dad real fast. Hey, that was pretty smart too, but you're just gonna let me uh, farm up these Dragon Balls right now. I'll charge up my key real fast. Can we go to the side? Side step for me? Hey! Ooh, this is gonna hurt. Let's get punched right in the face. Now watch this. I'm about to do a strike card and watch me draw a Dragon Ball. Watch me draw, draw a Dragon Ball now. Oh, I didn't draw a Dragon Ball. Can we do it the second time? Come on, Dragon Ball, Dragon Ball, Dragon Ball, Dragon Ball, Dragon Ball. There it is. See, this is what I mean. This right there alone is what makes this card so disgusting because now he's gonna stuck to eat this. He's gonna have to eat this. He's gonna have to eat this. I feel like something to balance the card out better would be to not uh, draw uh, Dragon Ball on those cards. This should just be regular strike cards, in my opinion. Because I think otherwise, being able to farm up a farm up a um, a Rising Rush so fast off of that ability is crazy. Because again, either he's gonna beat you to death, or you switch and then you get Rising Rush. That's what that's what's like terrible about the setup. Okay, I'm going right for that. Let's go for a vanish. I'm gonna just go ahead and do this. Uh, I think he's gonna be stuck. Oh, actually, he messed up. Ah! <laughs> I was gonna say, I messed up by clicking that like that, but he actually ended up already registering a swipe, so yeah. There's gonna be a lot of this. With this Vegito in this game, over the course of the next uh, couple of weeks, there's gonna be a lot of that, just because, again, it's just, I don't know. He's too good, he's just too good. Now I know what you're thinking. Rhyme, that God Key team looks absolutely disgusting. Um, the thing is, is, it is very good, especially when Whis is giving uh, support to both Beerus, especially Beerus, but he also gives support to, uh, to, to Vegito Blue when he switches into him. The only problem with that is you're missing out on having uh, decent support by having uh, two cover change rescues, basically. And uh, if you're coming across something like a Vegito Blue team, you're gonna hurt a lot. So, and I'll show you. I mean, lucky enough for me, I don't have to worry about cover changes against that team. But you'll still see that this team can be disgusting if, if you play the correct way. Personally, I think the best way to run this is definitely gonna be through Future and through, um, oh, we got the perfect advantage. Oh! Definitely to run through Future and to run them through, um, through uh, Fusion. That's the best way to run uh, Vegito Blue. Yo, this is gonna hurt a lot. I'm sorry, my dude. I'm sorry. This your Goku might be dead actually here, because you also get that. I get the extra damage boost. You lost all your buffs. I'm gonna draw another strike card. Oh, I didn't. That was actually two. Okay, I should probably counter better. I think he's still dead actually. Yeah, he's still dead. Look at this. This is what I mean. Oh, wait, wait. Uh, there we go. Okay. This is this is such a ca crazy card. This time we go. Whoop. Woo! I got lucky there. Okay. Well, that's that's unfortunate. Let's switch into Whis. All right, Shallot is about to do shallow things here. Let's go ahead and do this. Oh! No, that didn't work out. He's gonna Rising Rush me here, which I absolutely, I agree. <laughs> I 100% agree, go for it. He didn't actually Rising Rush me. Do I wanna do, do I wanna do a Beerus LF? Yeah, let's do a Beerus LF, might as well. Let's just go ahead and finish it off. Yeah, this this card, not Beerus, but the Vegito Blue is going to be kind of gross over the course of the near future. And I want to see, first of all, I want to see what you guys think about that. Like, is that going to affect your, you know, willingness to go into PvP? You know what? I'm going to try to do one more match. I'm going to try to come across a Vegito Blue team and do one last match for the video. Just so, you know, I can do like a mirror match to see how, you know, even fighting one will be annoying. Um, but I want to ask you guys as a player of the game, how do you feel about PvP knowing that Vegito Blue is just running rampant? Let me know down below. Uh, but yeah. I'm gonna load up one more match, but again, if you enjoy the content for PvP and Drama Legends, hit that thumbs up, and I'll be right back with the last round. 
20 minutes later. All right, honestly, I might just end it on this because I have now been like five fights in back to back to back with not a single Vegito Blue popped up. And I swear earlier when I was like just testing this team out, every fight was Vegito Blue, literally every single one of them. So yeah, I bet you all the Vegito Blue players are already like BR50. That's what it is. <laughs> That's exactly what it is because this, this card is just such a cheat code. All right, fingers crossed that I start with the key card in my hand. Let me start with the key card in my hand. Oh. And we don't have one, okay. Can I just bait him? We can! We can bait, and now the damage starts. You know what sucks this? Is he can't even switch out to any other team because they're just gonna die. Like, look at this. And again, you're drawing strike cards that can literally... Oh, I think he's dead. Oh. And now you just gotta eat this. You gotta eat this. Yeet! I switch into Kefla. Only because I feel like... Bait? Thank you. <laughs> oh my gosh, look at that type. Type advantage who? Type advantage too. How's that helping you out? Like, how's that working out for you? Have I been touched yet? I haven't been touched yet, have I? I have not. Okay. Can I draw one more card? Cannot. We're gonna go ahead and do this and just uh, vanish. Turn vanish. Whoop. Is that set for me? Oh. <gasps> that would be bad. Let's see what we can do here. Uh. Okay. That was. That. I agree. I agree. I agree. I agree. I'm ready to sacrifice the Vegeta if I have to. Strike card me. Strike card me, please. Please strike card. Strike heart, please. Oh, I'm so glad I switched to that Vegito. Okay, what's it gonna be? Um, it's gonna be key card. I smell a key card. There's a blue card. I was thought about doing blue card. Ooh. And we got the key. Oh, he's gotta be upset about that. That's gotta hurt. That's gotta hurt, hurt. And I'm not even gonna rise. I'm gonna try not to rise rush in this entire match. Just because I feel like it's just cheating. It's cheating. <laughs> it's cheating with this team. Whoop. And now he's dead too. To the side we go. If he switches to Shenron, he's gonna die. Yep. And I'm just gonna go for a tackle. Oh, that's unfortunate. That's unfortunate. Switching to Vegito. And Vegito. Let's see if I can just one shot this uh, this uh, Shenron now. I'm gonna try to one shot him with. I think he's gonna forfeit actually before we even get to that point. Let's see. Uh, it's not gonna help you, my dude. Unfortunately, it's not gonna help you. Let's see if we can get a one shot. One point. It's gotta be a one shot. This is like one of the highest damaging attacks in the game. It's gonna be one of the highest attacks uh, in the game. And type advantage too. Yeah, I think that that Shenron is good as dead. Yep, he's dead. Look at this, man. <laughs> I don't know. I I think the card is fun, but obviously I'm saying that you know the situations where I came across fighting against the Vegeta Blue, I was kind of like, ah, I want to go back to LF or uh, LOE because LOE is a good counter against this. Uh, but I think he's just too good for the meta right now. He's way too good for the meta. What do you guys think about that? Let me know down below. And uh, hopefully I can do some more Dragon Ball Legends PvP in the future with this uh, card as well. Because I definitely want to show off more. I think what I try to do is I'll try to fight one of my really, really good friends. Like I did, you know, in the, in the past. And then show you, like, what it's like to fight against a real threat. Like the really, really good Vegito Blue players in the game. But yeah. Otherwise, thank you guys for watching. If you enjoyed the video, hit that thumbs up. Let me know your thoughts on the anniversary uh, uh, and how you know what you pulled from it and everything. But otherwise, stay tuned for more. As always, uh, my name is Rhyme Style, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.